it requires faith from you for you to believe and we've all got faith in different things we all have belief in different things i was working with a client recently and their breakthrough was around believing that they deserved good things there were so many good things in her life and she just couldn't quite understand why every good thing didn't leave her feeling good why every good thing was eh, was blah was quickly dismissed and this desire to get to the belief that I deserve good things, but there was an underlying faith and belief, faith in the belief that she didn't deserve good things because she had done bad things. So how could someone who's bad experience good things? So there was this internal subconscious conflict, and that's what occurs within all of us. There's internal subconscious conflict. And so we'll kick something out, we are working so hard to call in immediately right when right when it comes in right when we experience it it says nope get out you don't deserve to be here and there's a faith hope and trust and belief and not obviously not consciously but this all happens internally and unconsciously and that's why we're left feeling so confused and so conflicted and looking outside of ourselves to try to fix it <laughs> so if that's true and for her it was and for most of us it is that it requires faith from you to for you to believe. It requires faith from you for you to believe. We've got to believe when we all have internal unconscious beliefs. But what do we do if it says, you don't deserve good things because you've done bad things? Are we ever going to truly be able to, to get into the depth, the joy, the abundance, the gratitude, and the calling it a more good things? Or are we just going to continue to reject and repel the good things that we are working so hard to call in if there's faith in a belief that says you don't deserve good things because you've done bad things we've all messed up we've all we've all fallen short we all have a laundry list from our past that says you shouldn't have done that whether it was from friends whether it was from family members whether it was from parents whoever it was from they said you shouldn't have done that maybe it was our own internal knowing our moral compass, our moral code that said you shouldn't have done that. And you did it anyway. And maybe you've already gotten through that. Maybe you've lived with the consequences of that. But looking into what your present life is and what you desire for your future life to be, there have to be aligned beliefs. Because our aligned beliefs create a reality. And we have faith, hope, and trust in those more than we know. So when our internal subconscious beliefs are in alignment with our dreams, there's, there's nothing you can't achieve. There's nothing you can't experience. There's nothing you can't sit with, be with, see yourself moving towards. You might even find that all of the good things that are currently coming in get to come in and stay. They don't re get rejected. It's, it's not, oh, save that for a rainy day. Save that for when I'm better. Save that for when I deserve that. Because you're now in internal unconscious alignment with, I deserve that. I desire that. I experience that. That is my experience of living. My experience of living is joy, happiness, abundance, appreciation, connection, instead of this rejection. So with that, wanted to share that. That was an incredible moment to experience her witnessing her breakthrough in that area. I so deeply related to that. I don't deserve the good things because I've done bad things. And that is the one thing that keeps so many of us from really enjoying all of the incredible things, the beautiful things that life has now and in the future. So when you're ready for that connection and breakthrough, I'd love to connect with you. you can find out more at sarahpicaro.com.